Hey there, floppies, and welcome to Platform 32. My name's Ian Higton, and this is episode 97 of Terraflops. Today I'm checking out Omerta, City of Gangsters. Which has some kind of double bass oboe action going on musically in the background there. Hope everyone is well. It's really, really warm and muggy here today. And um, I'm feeling a bit weird. I don't know whether I'm coming down with something or not, or whether it's just the air pressure. But I did a COVID test, and it's not COVID, so that's good. But yeah, odd, odd temperature today. Um, so uh, I'm going to have to try not to fall asleep as I play my least favorite genre of video game of all time, turn-based strategy. Uh, yep, that's right. Omerta City of Gangsters may have a cool gangstery name, but this is a turn-based gangster game. Uh, one I have never heard of before and never played of, uh, never played before either. In, in fact, the only reason, just like uh, Venetica last week, the only reason I even know of this game is because I was dredging the bottoms of Metacritic to, to find low-scoring games to feature on this channel. And I found this one. I was like, I don't recognize that name. I will... Uh, it's got 43 on Metacritic, which is kind of low. I'll see if there's any copies on eBay. And there was, so I, I picked it up. And in fact, it, is, it isn't even a legit copy. It is a, an old-school press promotional copy. One of the ones that uh, Dan Whitehead would have got in the day to review this for Eurogamer because uh, I've been reliably informed by Dan Whitehead on Twitter that this is another one that he had to suffer through for a Eurogamer review. I've not actually... Um, checked out his review yet, Omerita. So let's check that out. And uh, let's see what the review was. Um, February the 1st, 2013. And Dan gave this a Three out of ten. Oh, no. That's a teraflop, of course. I mean, if it's a game I've never heard of, you can almost guarantee that it didn't sell very well. But uh, this is what Dan has to say. The final few paragraphs. There's a final cruel twist of the knife. The game's multiplayer mode consists of four fixed combat scenarios. Oh, dear. Uh, it's got multiplayer, has it? Let's have a look and see. Anyone online? I don't think there's going to be, but never mind. In its own way, Omerta is as disappointing to me as whatever blockbuster failed to live up to your expectations. There's potential here, and the moments when the game comes close to realising this potential are perhaps the cruelest. Uh, these moments come when a campaign map offers enough leeway for you to actually engage with its systems and build a self-contained empire. The need to distinguish between dirty money and clean income hints at depths that never appear. Then that mission ends, you're dumped on a new map, all benefits of your previous success magically erased as you start over from scratch again. I'd gladly suffer through Emerta's jittery animations, its frankly bizarre accents, oh good, at least we'll have a laugh of those, and its crudely looped musical cues if there was an actual game inside. There isn't. There's a wisp of a resource management sim that crumbles to dust long before the elongated story mode grinds to a halt and turn-based combat that ranks among the worst the genre has ever seen. No! Sorry, Haimimont. Haimimont? I could... I don't know what the... the how to pronounce the developer's name. It's in the title of this video. Haimimont? Uh, um, sorry, Haimimont. On this one, you sleep with the fishies. Says Dan. Uh-oh. Even and all, uh, so Silver Salamence. Um, over on Metacritic, this has got 12 negative reviews, 6 mixed reviews, and 0 positive reviews in the critical 
aspect of things. The lowest reviewed score is from Console Monster, who wrote, uh, To recap, Omerta is a poor attempt at making a turn-based Mafia game, and this truly is a shame. It looked like it could have been so much more. The idea is quite novel. Omerta, though, was poorly executed and has left the door open for someone else to come along, use the same idea, refine it, and produce a much better product. I don't think anyone has produced a, uh, a turn-based Mafia game since, to be honest. That was 20 out of 100, which is the lowest by far, because the next score was 40 from GameWatch, who says, I tested the Xbox 360 version of Omerta, which controlled fine. Um, it had decent performance, and it worked smoothly on a technical level. It's clear that Omerta began... Oh, this is just... That is all about the technical aspects and nothing about the gameplay. And what about Worth Playing? Also gave it 40. Unfortunately, Omerta City of Gangsters isn't worth playing. Oops, yay. The concept is solid, as is the decision to split the game into two distinct game types, but the execution of both game types is subpar. Um, best review was from Inside Gamer NL, gave it a 70 out of 100. The game falls short on too many points to really earn a top score, but Omerta City of Gangsters is by no means a bad game. Booting your criminal empire is entertaining, but not as exciting as you might expect. It's kind of average then, that review. Over on the Euro user reviews land, three negative, two mixed, and two positive. The lowest negative reviews from Luis Felipe who says, How boring and repetitive, Calypso. That's who's published it, not, um, uh, not developed it. The economy management sucks and the battles are uninspired. After 15 minutes, I just quit and never come back. Oh, no. Uh, Jack Lantern also gave it a zero. This game is terrible. I cannot even really describe to you how bad it is because there are no real gameplay mechanics or features worth mentioning. It is simply put, a really crappy strategy game attempt. Wah. The top review, though, was from The Stan Man, who said, This game had a highly appealing storyline that inspired me in my life. I'm so glad I can share my review here, as it's truly a masterpiece of a game. Thank you to the developers for making it. The graphics and gameplay may be a bit... And so this is the exact sentence. The graphics and gameplay may be a bit, but it's still the best game I've ever played. Uh, the, the username there is the Stan Man. If you rearrange those letters, uh, you spell out the word a developer on Omerta City of Gangsters, I guess. So yeah, not, uh, not looking forward to this one. Uh, I'm assuming the three is the three out of ten for the music. Uh, which doesn't suck, says Dragon Botherer. It's quite, it's quite nice, quite atmospheric, the music so far. Uh, this is going to be a fun two hours, says Claire T-Rex. Don't worry, I'm only doing an hour and 45 today because I started 15 minutes late. And um, even then, if it, this bores the tits off of me as much as I think I may end early anyway. Because I don't feel tip-top. But anyway, ugh, let's cross my legs and get it on. This is a murder city of gangsters. Name your character. Oh. Freddy Feet. I was going to call him Freddy Feet for fingers because that sounded weird in my head, but he's going to be called Freddy Feet instead. Oh, I can be a vampire? A, <laughs> a sleazebag? A detective from the 1930s? Uh, James Dean's really shit wax work? Uh, a World War II fighter pilot? Or some weird dude who's staring at you from across the dining hall and you really want to stop staring at you. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the vampire. Oh. You grew up in a small village in Sicily. Your childhood name was Earful Berries or Hood. Uh, I want to be called... I'm Berries, baby. When you grew up... In, when you grew up enough... When you grew up enough, you, father, decided that you should learn diligence and learn a trade. You became apprenticed to the blacksmith, the stonemason, 
or the shopkeeper, that blacksmith, I think. The most ridiculous feat you managed to pull off during your youth was stealing the key for the village mayor's wine cellar and drinking most of it before you discovered that sounds good. Wrestling an enraged bull with your bare hands. Oh, sweet talking a local loan shark to forgiving your debt and give you even more money just to get you back on your feet. Booze. When you were 16 years old, you fell in love with the prettiest girl in the village. Her brother challenged you to a duel. Since you were challenged, you got to pick the weapon. It was a pistol, a knife, bare fists. You let your enemy pick, confident you could beat him with every weapon. Oh, yeah. You decided to leave Sicily and emigrate to America because a Don put a price on your head after you had an affair with his wife. A vendetta wiped out your family, leaving you and your brother the only survivors. You decided to pursue the American dream in the land of opportunities. My vampire looks like he likes to bone, so we're going to go for an affair. And uh, I'm going to play on easy as per usual, because the worst thing, I, the last thing I want to play is a hard, bad game. Fresh off the boat. Five bucks in my pocket, dreaming the American dream. I had to get my feet on the ground pretty damn quick. In the land of the brave, the wicked go unpunished. In the land of the free, freedom is an expensive commodity, even the freedom to have a drink. Success is never about hard work or fate cutting you some slack right when you need it. To say, a uh, very cheaply Success produced giving the people what they brown cutscene. Oh. Select district, Main Avenue. Sure. Why not? Um, <clears throat> before uh, I start this stream, I better give a shout out to uh, everyone who's watching. Hello, Alex Samaris, Claire T. Rex, Dan Matthews, Daniel Majors, David Gorman, DCC0209, Dreadpool. EA122, the music's fading out. Dreadpool EA122, Fahad Majid, Gavin UK86, Jamie ICT, Carl Richardson, Kate Lilly, Keaton Belliston, Lacroix Boy Marks, Lady Shawolf, Martin Stunenberg, Mr. M. Binder, Nightcap, Priscilla Lopez, Shay Williams, Silver Salamence 10, Sapad Me 299, Thomas Blackfame, oh, Jonius. Uh, when I'm 64 bits, you're watching on YouTube over on Twitch. We've got Dog Party Guy, Dragon Bother, and Nightcat, Vandal Ross, Crimson Pirate, and Bell Gareth, Space Opercopter as well. Ooh, welcome one, welcome all to episode 97 of Terraforms. It's got some kind of superb chat to come through as well. Kate Lee says, Oh, how I've missed smooth jazz on P32. Me too. I don't think it's as good as uh, smooth jazz, F smooth jazz FM's offerings, but it'll do. It'll do. I was one of my names said to the tune of jazzy beat poetry. Says Alex Samaris. Sorry, it didn't. So it kind of crumbled my attempt to do that because the the music just decided to completely fade out. But here we go, Main Avenue. I got a drink five minutes after I arrived. I got a drink five minutes after I arrived. That's why I won't be doing an American accent today. Me, Freddie Tonino, and Squigs got a room in the less prestigious Squigs. We scraped up what cash we had and got our hands into the booze trade. Police presence, none. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Use the bandage talent to heal HP and revive fallen team members. Well, so far this game has done nothing exciting for me. But it has just been menus so far. Maybe there'll be some game under the boardwalk somewhere. Once we've... There are 15 unique player-controlled characters. Each with distinct personalities. Background skills, equipment, and RPG light development trees. And also, uh, what they don't mention on the back here, is this has the ga the, the world's longest Welcome fucking the uh, uh, loading screens. What the plans for Teraflops 100, says DCC0209. Give up gaming. <laughs> I don't know. I've had a few thoughts. 
Um, the, the, some people have said do good ones. But I've done a lot of good ones on this channel. The good ones are games I want to play. Um, I think probably the wisest decision would be to never do teraflops again. <laughs> but what I'll probably end up doing is move uh, to the um, PS4 and uh, Xbox One era and, and uh, do those games. Find the dregs from that 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 uh, console generation because I'm pretty much I'm almost mined out of Xbox 360 and, and PlayStation games now. I've done the most terrible ones, I think. I'm just left with averagely bad and boring ones. <sighs> Righty. Uh, welcome to Atlantic City, boss. Why aren't you calling me Freddy Feet? Freddy Tonino. Guess two Freddies makes it complicated. Let's look around our new home. Okay. Sure. I can zoom in and out this way. Well, wow, that is jittery when I zoom in and out. And I can move all around. Which is also way well jittery. Nice place to stay near the famous boardwalk. A nice place to stay near the famous boardwalk. All right. Until the cursor in the center of the screen is above the building with the hat on it. Okay. There's a menu in the top left-hand corner that's showing an oblong moving at also a jittery rate around the uh, town. But I believe this might be the hideout here. Nice place to stay near the famous boardwalk. Fucking hell, Freddy Tonino looks like he needs to get some fucking healthy food in him. Guy is one coffee away from a heart attack. <clears throat> a whole new era of riches of shite to explore, says Claire T Rex. Uh huh, uh huh. Sounds about right. Maybe revisit a teraflop you enjoyed, says Carl Richardson. Let's have any of them. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Did, did, did that work? Okay, I've selected my hideout. This panel holds important information about the selected building. Close this info panel by pressing B. Ah. Since we're new in Atlantic City, boss, we should learn what we yes. can about the district and gather some information. All right, buddy. Imagine balding and then thinking, do you know what I'm going to do with the rest of my hair? I'm going to grow a mullet. That's what I'm going to have to do, isn't it? Send the boss information in the shop across the street. Since we're new in Atlantic City, what? boss. We should learn what we can about the district and gather some... Pan the view and select the shop. Okay. This one? Either of these actions will allow you to learn more about this district. A shopkeeper has heard every rumour and knows everything about everyone. What does... what... What is the different... what is Big Spender? What does Cheers mean? What, why... What, why are these options? They're options for what? If Big Spender means bribe him, how much is the bribe going to cost? If it doesn't mean bribe, what does it mean? And what the fuck does cheers mean? Let's do cheers. Use the start action to send the boss on this. Cheers costs one beer. The shop has enough had enough orange juice to last him a lifetime. Some free beer will loosen his tongue. Good what? job, boss. I eagerly await your return. So my mission is to w what? Wait for the boss to return? Where? Good job, boss. I eagerly... Wait, is that my boss? There he goes! It's <laughs> oh, look, there's a person. He's got a shadow and everything. So, my mission there was to click on a house, then click on, an, on a choice that I had no idea what the outcome would be, and then wait for something to happen. Press LB and RB to complete the. Just That's how it's done. Looks like you found a couple of independent breweries, boss. We can <laughs> steal. Some I love video games, games that are just reading. Says Ah uh, Jonias. Me too. 
in the, uh, raid an independent brewery. Freddy Feet found four places of interest. There's a brewery. So, let me get this straight. Let's just... I'm a new gang boss. Just moved into my new hideout where I'm trying to keep under the radar. And my first plan of action is going to be knock off the brewery right next door to my house and give what I've stolen to a building just across the street from the brewery I just knocked off. I think I'm the stupidest crime boss I've ever met. But sure, what? I could buy the beer, I could raid it, or I could do a dr I'm gonna do a... How are you gonna steal beer via the method of a drive-by? Let's find out. A drive-by attack will force the owner to vacate the premises. Okay, sure. That makes sense, I guess. How do I start then? What? Did that work? Drive-by. Start. Why can't I start it? What? Start. Okay, there's no... It won't let me start the drive-by. The, the... Oh, I don't have five firearms. Okay. Raid. Start. There we go. There are far too many opportunities for you to handle it alone, boss. Blast. Why don't you bring in squigs to help? I'll bring in some squigs. Okay, here we go. Let's select squigs. Vincent... Vincento Squigs Rizzo. Um, fucking hell, it's just walls of text. This is not doing my undiagnosed ADHD any good. Um... Fire. Sure. Fire. No, don't want to do that. Close? Did that work? Close? Hi, boss. I heard that you found some guys stealing illegal alcohol. We should steal their beer. We should steal their beer. Okay. Let's steal their beer. Well, at least we've waited till night time. Are we doing it? Is this... Is it happening? I... Is this the game? Do we... What? Hi, boss. I heard that you found... Why aren't you doing anything, Vincenzo? Squigs? Where's my guy gone? The fuck is happening? <laughs> my guy gone in there to get pissed. And now he's not coming out again. A henchman is already doing business here. So Squigs is in there? No, Freddy... You must have done right. Oh. Do it yourself. I've returned with 20 beer. Did I just... What? Okay, can I raid it again? Oh, no, I can't raid that one. If this is... It's another brewery. Many breweries. Let's send squigs this time. Can I send them both? No, I can only send one at a time. Is there another brewery? Let's see if we can see any hot women in bikinis. Oh, all well, hot men in bikinis. No. Nope. Neither. Neither, neither. Neither, neither. What's this building? The Red Crab. I was hoping that maybe this game might, like, from the screenshots, might be a little bit, maybe like a... a Mafia version of Syndicate. Which would have been in really cool, if you think about it. But, 
but um, honestly, this is just like one of those old Facebook gangster simulator games with some extra graphics. <coughs> this is exhilarating, says Carl Richardson. I don't think I've ever been so fucking bored. Is he still doing his thing? He's already doing business in there. Hi, boss. Well, I, I that you found some guys stealing illegal alcohol. We should steal their beer. So that, that's like literally nothing to do while he's inside there, like knobbling booze from this house-like brewery. That is a fucking big house, though. Four floors. Masses of windows. American houses are huge. Why are you taking so long to steal the beer, Rizzo? Is already doing business here. Get the f out then. Can I upgrade? No, I can't upgrade. What can I decorate? Doesn't look like I've got any money. Oh Jesus! Piss and Christ! Hi, boss. I heard that you found some guys. How do I? Good work, boss. Now we can sell the beer and make some real money. I heard some Irishman is looking to buy beer. You should talk to him. Okay. Hold the right trigger and X to we open don't have the... many contacts yet, but that'll soon change, boss. In the meantime, you should maybe make a deal with the Irishman. Okay. Van O'Connor... Oh, my Why God. Someone's just taken a... Taking a big chomp out of a lemon. <laughs> Buying 30 beer for $450? Is he going out on the piss in London? The job's underway, boss. You can take a look around the district while we wait for the job to finish. Oh. Wait for the beer job to finish. Okay. I'll take a look around the district. It's very green brown. And there is one hell of a screen tear running right through it when I scroll left to right. Not so bad up and down, but. So brown beige. Okay, I think the beer job is finished. That's how it's done. Okay. Nice. Job's done and we've got the money. We should use it to explore the district for more opportunities. Boss, the job's done and we've got the money. Okay, let's ex locate and question an informant. Okay. Mozzie juice, taste the pleasure. Jerked off into a cup or something. Informant, okay. Big spender or cheers? So is cheers. So what I'm gonna guess is that cheers is try and pay someone off with alcohol, and big spender is try and pay someone off with cash. I've got four hundred and seventy dollars, so let's try and put hundred dollars, dirty money, or ten beer. I've got fifteen beer, I've probably got okay. And uh, I use my vampire like charms to a mastermind real boss ain't it. Of work. So, currently, Freddy Feet is gathering information. Uh, boss, the job's done and we've got the money. We should use it to explore. Okay, the, the back button just does that. So until I get a tick, 
next to the there you go till a tick appears there's nothing to do but look at the dark brown graphics I can't find squigs anymore oh no squigs is swimming with the fishies look for a special action titled where's squigs is it that where's squigs here we go send the boss to investigate what happened with squigs Oh my god. Is the boss going to turn up? Oh. I paid $15 salary. Bars. Some people saw squigs get jumped by three ghouls. Oh no. They them into their car and drove off away from the boardwalk. Wow, wow. Okay, squigs is, be is held in a building with an eye sign above it. Okay, I need to explore the district and find an eye. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they literally drove him one and one building away. Wow. Was everyone in Gangsterland super, like, lazy? Warehouse? What is that? What is on the image of that warehouse? It looks like a kiwi bird. Abandoned warehouse. Let's investigate. Start. Got a lot of work to do. Okay, so now we wait again until a tick appears. No, not our favourite character, Squigs, says, uh, Jonius. So, Squigs. But what is this, then? Ra ra raid house. That's okay. how it's done. What the fuck? <laughs> what? So, well, the makers of this game taking the piss. There's, there's no game here. Squigs is held in a small warehouse. Rescue him and escape. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to command your henchman in tactical combat. Oh, maybe we'll actually get some action. Select a henchman and press X. Oh, Squigs is in jail. Guess Freddy Feet is... Uh, Gonna be oh my god! Why do you need lengthy loading screens between those actions? It was just another menu on the same bit with the same music. What are you even loading? Pain? Hey Jimbo! Poor Squigs. I hope we can rescue him. Before he dies. But. Whoa. This is a tactical combat mission. You must rescue your buddy Squigs and defeat the thugs in the warehouse. Okay. Let's have a look at. Oh. The red in your character screen are called action points, the green are called movement points. They are consumed when your character moves. To move your character, press A to set the movement pass, pr path. Press A again to confirm it. You previously selected. Okay. So, that's Freddy Feet there. Black suit, white hat. Whoa, yeah, my boys are bite time bomb. Uh, so, can I... What are these? What? So, these are either areas I can move to, I guess, or this is a warehouse... For um, uh, medieval um, reenactment costumes. And these are shields. Can I move there? Can I move further? How far can I move? I, c I think I can move up to where it's white. Okay, good work. You've exhausted your magic points. <laughs> your movement points for this turn. Press RB to end your turn. Cannot act during enemy turns, but you'll see their actions that your character can see. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, it's very dark in there. Vision must be line of sight based, I guess. Okay. Is it my go? I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, here we go. So I guess I can take cover behind these things. Let's do it. Uh-oh, you've encountered one enemy. Try attacking him with your basic attack. To do so, 
Target the enemy and press right trigger. If you're armed with a melee weapon, you'll have to move close to the enemy. If you're armed with a ranged weapon, you'll only need line of sight. Okay. I think I've got line of sight, because uh, he's got an eye above him. So that's... Uh, Burp. The initiative line on at the top of the screen shows the character is currently active and which character. Ah. Did you die? Did I die? He's got some blood on him. <coughs> you don't have any AP for any more attacks. If you're done with this turn, <coughs> Gosabi. Yeah, okay. Well, I killed him. So I guess. Well, I've got movement points, haven't I? No? Okay. I'm done. All right, then. let's go. Wow, wow, let's go. Is it me again? Okay, sweet. Can I? I'll take cover here then. I guess there's not much looting to be done. Are the enemies moving now? Guess they are. Can't move any. Oh no! I need to. End Time to get turn. a move on. There we go. Let's see if we can get. Oh, any enemies? No. No enemies. No sea and enemies. Okay, thrilling, thrilling combat. All right, let's go. So far. <laughs> Is Squeak's really worth this effort? Says, uh, oh, Jonius. I don't think anything's worth this effort at this point. There's a spanner there. Let's go see what the spanner does. You found your buddy Squigs. If you rescue him, he will join you. Move over the spanner to rescue him. All right. Objective, rescue Squigs and escape. Why is there multiple... Squigs is ready, boss. Time to get a move on. Okay, well, I guess we just run away again. And how do I be Squigs? How do I control Squigs? LB selects Freddy feet. That makes sense. Do I have to quit? No. End turn. I know it's, uh, there's a gangster. Hi. Oh. Oh, okay. It's in a chain of who's going to. Okay. Okay. Squigs. Horse feathers. Here they are. Horse feathers? What the. What on earth are you talking about, sir? Okay, so now it's the gangster's move. Time to get a move on. Sure. Let's go as far as I can. I'll take care of him. What row? Thonk. Miss? Ah, I didn't miss that time. Okay. End turn. Cover spots advantageous. Okay, brilliant. Good to know, good to know. Go, Squigs! Squigs has got a pistol somehow. Oh, where did you come from, sir? Oh! Oh! That motherfucker shot us both! Open fire! And again! Time to meet your maker! All the enemies are dead, you are victorious! Hooray! Squigs in trouble, combat tutorial. You have won! Yay, what? Oh, okay. That's the end then. Now for another 10 minute loading screen. Thanks for saving me from those thugs, boss. I would have taken okay. them out myself if they hadn't snuck up on me like that. Wow. We've gained a level, boss. Hold right trigger and press A to view gang members. Okay. Level up. Choose a new perk. Oh, can't be really those ones. I've been 
increased Freddy Feet's HP. And uh, I'll make Rizzo, Squigsy even, a bit better with guns. Now that you've dealt with the distractions, we should return to the task at hand. Making money. Making money. Objective, make 1,000 dirty money. Ooh, you dirty money. Oh, <laughs> oh so... Oh, naughty coins. Oh, dirty. Dirty, dirty money. Right, what are we doing? Make some money. Okay, what's this? Oh, what? Hey, what? what is that? Distillery. Let's raid it. Go, boss! And then I presume there's another. Or well, maybe I'll, what's that here? Informant. Come on, Squigs. I won't beat my gums, boss. I won't beat my gums, boss. Oh. There's a reason why I'm the boss. Okay. Freddy feet return with twenty liquor. <clears throat> I'm going to start a business in this town with all this liquor. It's going to be called Liquor Out. Because it's delivery. Delivery liquor. Uh, why are you taking so long? Squigs. Warehouse. Raid, sure. Seeing as Squigs is taking so long. Oh, here we go. Squigs has got some information. He's found six places of interest. Okay, <laughs> just wait. Okay, where we go? What? What? Uh, what's this then? Resident celebrity. Pull a scam. Hell's yeah. You must have warm relations. Oh. Alright, well, let's give them a lavish gift. Oh, I don't have enough money to give the celebrity a lavish gift. So let's raid for some more beer. Ra raiding a warehouse. Return with 40 beer. A warehouse owner is now on bad terms with you. Not Why is that any surprise? Warehouse, raid, me. My favourite bit of the game is where you just have to sit there and twiddle your thumbs. I reckon this game would be good for people with insomnia, because I'm about to fall my fucking ass to sleep, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so far I've been given no heads up to a fast forward function, uh, Alex Samaris, and no. Uh, There's a reason why I'm the boss. Is it because you're a vampire? Okay. Squigs return with 25 beer. Okay. Total storage. Storage full. Sell goods until storage is no longer overstocked. Sure. I'll sell 100 beer. That leaves me with 20 beer in case of bribes. A speakeasy. Rent premises. On oh, the rent premises. Let's, let's just keep raiding all these places, I guess. It's the best way to make money. I won't beat my gum. 25 beers? Sounds like a fun night to me, says Gavin. I'd puke my tits off after 25 beers, that's for sure. I went to... Um, Saturday I went to the, the local ale shop. I haven't been there for a while because I've been trying That's to how it's done. get back into shape. Uh, and um, uh, I bought two two very um, uh, ornately designed cans of beer. One's an IPA and the other is... Um, a, I think it's some like blueberry pancake 
sour. I don't normally drink sours. I don't really know. I can't really think of what they taste like. I expect I'm going to find it quite sickly and gross, but Luke really likes sours, so I thought I'd um, give it a go and see. Oh, no. We had to take them out before the end of Drug Wars is a much better game than this, is Nightcat. Is that the Facebook thing that I'm thinking of, Nightcat? Because yes, it was. It's not a fun night unless you're revisiting the evening in an alleyway at 4am, says Gavin. Indeed, indeed. Can't decide if the music is bringing to mind mediocre Italian restaurant or slow elevator. How about an Italian restaurant? Situated in a slow elevator. Oh, it's the original spreadsheet crime sim game. It was around before Facebook. There was one, like, back in the early days of Facebook. Facebook looked quite different. And you could get, you could run these text-based, number-based games down the side. And you could recruit your friends, your actual Facebook friends, to become members of your gangs and stuff. And there was a vampire one, and there was a drugs one, there was a gangster one but um, they weren't very good games but it was before people got bored with playing games and decided to spread misinformation <coughs> on Facebook instead. I feel like Ian is going to have a good nap after this game says QB Gaming. I think I might do what the fuck is up with these load times the goons that kidnapped Squigs are back for vengeance. This time they brought even more guys. Shoot all of them down to protect your prisoners. Okay, let's assign my combat team and go murdering. I had that shit back in the days as Keaton Belliston. Oh, yeah. Thomas Black Flame says the only good game of Facebook was the one about having cars and that's it. Car Town, allegedly. Hmm. Ooh. Well. Enjoy your avail is a valid shape choice, Ian says Dragon Botherer. True, but um I um I I wasn't happy. So uh so far I've lost How many pounds in a stone? I was 13.6 at the start of... Uh, where are we now? August. At the start of May. And when I weighed myself this morning, I was 12.10. So, still, it's working. Not eating sweeties is terrible, but it has a benefit. Whoa, look at that. Chicky broth. Chicky chicky broth. We are the chicky broths. We are the chicky broths. Wow, take care of whom? What are you looking at? What the f are you looking at, buddy? This guy? He's not. He's not in sight. Okay, took cover. Uh, you guys want to play rough? Says uh, Mr. Ambider. Love all the good loading in this game, says Stephen Ransom. It is some excellent loading. All right. Is it Squiggs' go? Ready, boss. Bloody mouth. Can I get Squigs to there? Oh, maybe not quite. That's right, Squigs, you idiot. You stand straight out in the open. It's fine. Oh, turns out that pickpocket was a... Whoa! Just punched the fuck out of Squigs. Whoa! Squigs returning the fire, thank God. Time to get a move on. Shit, man. Squigs is getting destroyed. <laughs> All right. This is for Squigs. <laughs> Whoops! Squigs? 
I didn't realise the spread on my shotgun would be so large. Squigs. Squigs. All right, let's go. Oh, he's forgotten about it. It's fine. Oh. Shoot through the window? Hmm. That's cheap. This is for Squigs! Another Whom person. I killed! Whoops. Run away! I don't seem to be able to run. All right, let's go. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Peek a boom. Nothing personal. Uh, oh. Is Squigs alive then? Was he just injured? I think maybe just his arm was broken. Maybe Squigs isn't dead. <laughs> Those goons were persistent until I taught them a lesson. I doubt they'll be coming. Okay, you have one. Squigs is uh, out for the count. He's not dead. Me, Squigs, and the Stiffs. They jumped us. They got what they deserved. Squigs lost two of his fingers. I lost the man I was. Thanks for subscribing, Gan Gangsta86. Very appropriate. High five. I realized that I'd passed the point of the law couldn't protect me and mine. I had no use for him. If there were no paying jobs for me, I'd be my own employer, make my own rules. And if that makes me a gangster, then yes, I am a gangster. Bum 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 Abascon Lighthouse. Things didn't pan out exactly as I planned, boys. Seems like we'll be having some competition in our new line of work. Great. We're gonna protect what's ours. And if anyone tries to get their dirty hands on it, well You doity hands. The bad news is that our little scuffle scared off some customers. Oh. No one wants to do business with us. But we'll set up our own alcohol supply and distribution network. All right. A brewery here, a Father speakeasy vampire. there. We'll be up and running again in no time. Police presence very low. Good. Let's go and knock off a bunch of breweries. The alcohol is illegal in these places. How come there's so many breweries? I guess they're illegal breweries. That'd be quite good, yeah. Knock off an illegal brewery. It's not like they can call the cops, I guess. Hello! Someone's just raided my illegal brewery. Nice to meet you, Whoa, Ronald Hello, Reagan's son better days. Jesus. Done. I heard you're looking to get into the booze business. My God, sir. All those years in office really did a number on you. My hat out. I've got four thousand dollar he dues. Let's upgrade it. Oh, it's looking sexy now. Upgrade. Sure. Ha <laughs> ha. Upgrade. Whoa, my house is bang tidy. Alright, what are we doing? Abascon Lighthouse. Smuggle. Sure. Got a lot of work to do. Uh What else can I do around here? Wait, is this just the same place? But oh no, it's, it's a slightly different area. Area, still small and still juddery as fook. Go butter them up, baby. All right, the old man from the lighthouse bought you eight liquor. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm going to smuggle again. Oh, it costs 200 dirty money. Oh, they don't have any dirty money. Hide out. Shit. Is there nothing I can do now? I spent all my money on making my house look 
well good. Nice beeswax, eh, boss? Nice beeswax? What the fuck are you talking about? Rent. Why would I want to rent places? I want to... I want to knock over businesses. Okay. That's, come on. Give me some places to crime. Here we go. It's time to crime. Wait. There we go. Okay. Distillery has gone bankrupt. Hired Doc. Nice to meet you, lad. The name is Emmett, but everyone calls me Doc. I heard you're looking to get into the booze business. Hired Doc. Okay. Are hey, you Doc? Which one's Doc? Fuck is Doc? Uh, oh, What's this? resident deputy. Right, buy a weapon, call a favour. Uh, that's not going to do anything. Resident crime lord. I'm the only crime lord in these parts. Wet works. Play a combat mission, receive 1,000. Sure. Oh. I thought I was playing a combat mission, but great. I guess what? Raid. A real boss ain't afraid of grunt work. What? <laughs> I'm still laughing about Ian shooting squigs as Brook Boyd. I didn't know the spread from the shotgun would be so wide. Uh, fuck. Go for it. Auto resolve. Nah, it's boring. Thumbs up, thumbs up for loading. Nothing for ages, says Nightcat. <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up for this potentially the most boring episode of Terraflops yet. It's so brown. Time to get a move on. Take up, take out all the opponents. Well, so far, it's just me and Squigs here. Go on, off you go. On it. Uh, yeah, up, up you go then. Time to get a move on. All right then. See me and you die. <laughs> Boink. He's aware of the shotgun in his face. That's for sure. Oh, is that okay? Hey, what about? Oh. Underboss. Yeah, boys. What does a gangster boss have under his trousers? His underboss. Okay, can I still see or No, I guess I can't see him now. Squigs, you idiot. Now I can see him. Take that! Don't hit the boss! And it's got a close-up look on this thrilling action. Good job, boys. Nice squigs. That broken arm didn't mess up your aim, thankfully. Okay, we've got an enforcer. And Alright, let's go. The boss. Uh, okay, and uh What the blazes? How are you missing? Wise guy, huh? Mugger. 
There's a lot of, there's a, a vast collection of yeah, boys. gangster types in this building. I can you not get through, Squigs? I'm blocking the doorway. What the f- Oh my god! That guy's invincible! Time to get a move on. Right, Freddy feet, get your fucking... Right, what the hell? What? Why the f- Why the- What? What? I wanna go- I wanna go here. Can I not? Why can't I... So I can't shoot this fucking guy. And I couldn't get through the door. Because Squigs was... Or we were both blocking the way. So I'm going to have to wait until everyone's done their moves. Because for some reason my gangster idiot can't shoot a three health Ready, point boss. idiot sat on the floor oh, at close range <laughs> okay hmm. now freddy feet's turn seeing as that was a good area of being invincible i'm gonna put freddy feet there Freddy Feet! The underboss is fucking right there. How did you miss? How did you miss? Ooh. Oh, t oh, crikey. Oh, boss. Freddy Feet. Oh, they're all legging it. Oh. Oh, no! Wow, we was owned. Just like XCOM lol, even when you're up close you can sometimes miss as QB gaming. I missed every time! I took the jam out of the donuts. No you didn't, you got murdered. Gun runner. Oh shit! The fuck? How the... You must have done right. How the you fuck did know. Squigs end up in jail? Or prison? Wow, wow, why did I? Oh, that's how you fired up. Sure. Ronald Reagan is now Boss, at my service. Let's get a wiggle onto that brewery. Brewery. Where's the brewery? There's so many different b buildings. There's a reason why I'm the boss. Uh, Freddy Feet is politician. Guess we're looking for a green symbol. Rather than purple. There are no breweries around here. I don't have any dirty money. Wow, this. Give me some beers, buddy. Okay, a do absolute, absolute dockhead. Oh. You don't have enough money to pay the salaries of your henchmen. Shit, son. I'm not going to be happy about that. Better sell all my beer. Do another raid. Oh. No rest for the boss. I'm drive by this bastard. This one is imprisoned. Where is he imprisoned? Uh, 
Right. Is he there? That's the celebrity. Uh, I'll drink to that. Oh, two places of interest. Is it a brewery? It is a brewery. Drive by, Doc. Drive I'm by. A bit rusty, but I'll do it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right. There's a reason why I'm the boss. Is there now? It says the same shit over and over again. Where's Squigs, you asshole? I don't know where they're keeping squigs. Did I just drive by that brewery so hard the whole fucking place got knocked down? What the shit? Oh, I need to rent a premises, it says up the top. Have I got enough money to do that? Uh, I'll drink to that. Cheers, my friend. Hello. Can't rent a building if you've got no money. Um, how am I going to get some more dirty money then? Have I, have I screwed myself? Call a favour. No. Distortion. Got a lot of work to do. I'm extorting this guy now. Maybe am I? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Oh, good God! Where can I sell shit? Oops, not there. Thanks, boss. Now let's get a wiggle on to the. <laughs> what the brewery? I think we just. Knocked down. You shot the shit out of it, buddy. No brewery left. So I can't find where Squigs is. I don't know where to... Great. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a good lot of money. That'll do. Let's rent the premises. Who calls for a doctor? Next to... There. Thanks, boss. Now let's get I did rent a premises. I've done exactly what you want, you asshole! Rent. Okay, now I've rented two buildings. Here we go. Let's get the beer running. That's to some good beeswax, laddie. I may be half under. But I still know how to run things. Press Y to switch between portraits of your gangsters and own businesses and lots. Use L, B, and R, B. To highlight the premises there. Establish a brewery. Let the dock handle it. Oh. Did you do it? That's how it's done. Okay. Services, establish. What else can we establish here? Safe house. Oh, where'd that go? Does it just when a tick comes ah, up, does it ruin my menus? Beeswax, I may be half under, but I still know how to run things. You may still know how to run things, but you also know how to repeat yourself. Each business can be improved via upgrades. Upgrade one. Oh, I don't have the. M oh. I never doubted your boss. Next, we should set up a speakeasy to sell the beer provided by our new brewery. Should we? Can I do that here. Speakeasy. Is there anything there? You. 
Uh, that doesn't seem to be anything now that says speakeasy, you bastards. Rent a joint? I just did rent... You want me to rent a new joint? I don't have any money. Spent it all. On breweries. What's happening? Destroy the evidence. Your actions generate too much heat and the sheriff started an investigation. If they finish the investigation, you will lose the game. Uh, what? I've just destroyed the evidence, I think. I don't know what that means. Thumbs up for being allergic to dire game, says Nightcap. I hope I'm not coming down with anything. I don't need to be ill at the moment. Feds are gathering evidence against you. They've destroyed... They've established temporary headquarters in an office building at the edge of town. Tor, storm the building and destroy the documents that they have gathered. Combat team. Boff. Boff. Ah, oh, Squigs. You've let us down again, Squigs, you shit. This game's so boring. I need a drink. There is a me too, buddy, me too. There is a very good reason why nobody has uttered the name Omerta City of Gangsters in the nine years since it's been published. That's because it's whack as shite. Can I see this guy? Shoot a federal agent. Whoa. Getting my cop killing on here. Oh. Let Freddy Feet move. F. Federal agent attacks with mm. dance for me. What? Is that a special attack move, is it? Okay. Who are you going to see up here, Freddy Feet? No one. Uh oh. Whoa, that person. Perhaps this wasn't a uh, a good plan of action. Hey! This one's terminal. Did it? Can he shoot no more? I can he shoot no more? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I don't know what that guy mm. was doing, but he was certainly enjoying himself. Let's get behind cover here. And shoot this D bag in the back. What? You fucking miss from that range. This game's bullshit. This game sucks so hard. It will be a it will be a merciful end if these cops kill us all. <coughs> Shut up! Is that all you can do? Is that your attack? Is it? Crikey! Can not move now. I've attacked either. Well. Ah! I need a doctor. <laughs> so do I. Oh fuck off! Wait, what? <laughs> How are you not dead? Can I seriously not move? After I've shot? Okay. Well, it's good to know, I guess. Silver Comments says, wonder if this is better on the PC. I'm not going to buy it to find out. 
It reviewed better on the <laughs> PC. I can only presume that it's not shit if you play it with mouse and keyboard. We died. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. This is so boring. Do, 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 do. Brooke Boyd, my dog is being so brave right now. Pest control is outside and she came running upstairs to hide. <laughs> oh. Oh, give your pet dog a, uh, a pet for us, Brooke Boyd. And, uh, yeah. You're inv the investigation gathered enough events <laughs> evidence to arrest you. Your reign of crime is over. It certainly is. Um, I cannot even muster the energy to play any more of this. That was so dull. Oh my god. That, um... Wow. Let's never speak of Ometa City of Gangsters again. I'm sorry I opened up this Pandora's box of a forgotten game of shitness. In a sense, you just won the game, says Mr. M. Binder. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Keaton Bellison says, yeah, it's over. Uh, this is the sort of Terraflop that dies in a fizzle of boring, says Silver Comet. Yes, it is indeed. It is indeed. Well, uh, if I'm not, if I haven't gone downhill tomorrow and I'm feeling better, uh, it's time to re, um, re, what is it? What's the word I'm looking for? Resume. It's time to resume my <laughs> VR playthrough of Dark Souls. I haven't done it for about... A, I haven't played it for about a month, so I'm going to be completely out of practice again. But I was having a lot of fun with my new Pyromancer class and uh, just, uh, just discovering all the secrets that VR allows you to see in the world of Dark Souls. Uh, if I don't do it tomorrow, I'll do it Thursday. And, of course... There will be the Friday stream where I'm gonna, you'll be able to see me drink those lovely cans of fancy beer. Uh, so yeah, do tune in for those. Um, and tomorrow, there's a live stream on Eurogamer. I did say yesterday. Was it yesterday? No. When did I say Friday? I can't remember. I think I said it was going to be Madison. It's not. It's going to be um, the... Mortician's Apprentice Assistant. Can't wait to see Zoe shit herself whilst also rage about how broken the game is. So, yeah, that's that. That's coming up tomorrow on Eurogamer. If you want to see what Zoe thought of the game after playing it through to completion, uh, I had a review chat with her today, and that video is up on Eurogamer right now. Go check that out. Prepare yourself. For the uh, the manky dead body chaos that will come tomorrow, <laughs> and I'll see you then. Goodbye. Boring piece of shit. Oh my heart.